Hey everybody, Dan here from Sherp ET again. You're invited to McMiller Sports Center in 2023 for the open house. Absolutely wonderful event. Brought the Sherp along, gave a lot of people different rides, and just overall had an absolutely great time. You hear those guns in the background, and occasionally you hear an automatic weapon. I am not used to those. This is my first experience. I didn't actually shoot one, but you'll see a little bit more about that in the future. One of my favorite things to do with the Sherp in the summer is go through green trees. Uh, you probably can go through them up to, I don't know, two, three inches anyhow. And basically they kind of pop right back up again when they are green. But that wasn't the intent for this mission. You'll hear a little bit more about that later. Our first group, interesting, is uh, during their bachelor party, they came out to the open house, shot some guns, uh, went up, up for a Sherp ride, and just had it overall. So I can get about eight people total inside of the Sherp, but that's a lot of weight. Maximum weight capacity, I believe, is 2,000 pounds. It starts to get a little bit uh, tippy shall we say, when you have a lot of weight in it, so I'd prefer not to have that many, but they have fun. So for you, yeah. if I have a heart attack or whatever, it still is rocking, so if I stop everything and it's up here, it yeah. continues to move. Just pull this little right here and it's a beautiful shot. Okay. Okay, that's it. All right. To get out, you can go out this way, so okay. you can open up this Got you. right here, and you can push your way out, or just push on this hand. Okay. Ready? That berm right there is probably about 10 feet tall, and backing up at it, on it, it's, you're at one hell of an angle. So although it doesn't look like much on the inside, it certainly scares the dickens out of you. Probably gave about 10 different rides throughout the day, and every one of those rides was a trip on this berm. That wheel, I love the way that feels. How was it? That? that was awesome. Do you guys have I want one. Yeah. You want one? <laughs> well, nice knowing you guys. Yeah, thank you. It's been great. Enjoy your ride. Always will. So, how was your ride? Those military people. <laughs> Part of the open house, they had automatic weapons that you could choose from and go out there and shoot them for the first time. I have never shot an automatic weapon before, but it was absolutely incredible. The setup that they had, they had multiple different calibers, multiple different guns. I'll show you a couple of shots of some people going through here and shooting them, but it was wild. As in all gun ranges, safety is definitely the first concern. They did a fantastic job here. They had two different guys that were assigned to each person to shoot the automatic weapon as you kind of watch through this. The smaller caliber, typically there was one guy in the back just making sure the person would be kicked backwards. Um, but the larger caliber, they actually had two people, one person holding the base of the gun, making sure it just pot didn't pop up in the air. Here's an example of a larger caliber weapon. Look at the power that this thing has. So it's holding the front of that down with that tripod, making sure it doesn't pop up in here with somebody else in the back. And this was a big dude, too. That has got <laughs> some power. Woo! The smaller caliber, if you notice, they got a little hoop there. You got to keep the muzzle of that gun in front of that hoop to make sure that you don't shoot anything accidentally. Another nice little feature there is that screen that they had installed to catch all of those casings. Look at the ground. That is the absolutely line is clear. The line insane. Is clear. Go down range and check your target. I don't know how many thousands Do not of rounds were shot that day. Anything on the benches for any reason whatsoever. Absolutely Even if it's a target. Incredible. <laughs> this is just water, right? Do we the lake? Yeah. These tires? Yeah. yeah. We can fall through the ice and climb back out. This is 
been on the mouth of the Mississippi River. It's been on Lake Mendota. It's been on Lake Winnebago. Bemidji, I've Lake been ben, on so many All right, keep an wow. eye out for ice. Go straight towards it. <laughs> right. Enjoy your ride. Have fun. <laughs> Playing a little bit more on the berm. Again, this is usually the start and the end of the Sherp ride. I did it a little bit differently every time. It depends on the group, depending on what they wanted to do. I think I actually could have climbed right over that without any problem, but on the opposite side of that hill is a bow range. We wouldn't want to have issues with that. The Muzzle Little Association was also there, and they had a hell of a setup. Going back to some early days. They had a number of different muskets that were there. It was interesting to me how light these were. They had traditional clothing, um, talking about traditional ways of kind of the mountain man. It was, a, it was an excellent setup, great educational event. Uh, glad those guys were there, I learned a lot. People always ask me, do you have any regrets of buying the Sherp? And yeah, I've had some problems, but you have problems with everything that's out, that's out there, in my opinion, anyhow. I have taken it to its limits. Nope. Uh, no regrets. I think I had more fun than they did. Yeah, the back is uh, quite an exciting ride. It's an active experience. It's <laughs> a good way to put it. I liked it. Cool. Good time? That was insane. I can't, I had nothing like it before. Your faces crazy. were just priceless. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely nuts. Golly. All right, you can sit on your butt and just hop out, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you bet. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to go past that butt. Woo! Oh. Yeah, smiles, smiles per gallon, right? <laughs> so you had a good time, oh, right? This was awesome. This oh, cool. Was this was awesome. Yeah, jeez, mighty. That's a beast. <laughs> that thing unstoppable. I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. So much. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks you for going for a ride. Yo, no, let me check it out. Okay, so this is your first Sherp ride, right? Yep. Okay, excellent. It'll be awesome. Okay, well, have fun. Thank you. I'm in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> It's free! I get you the next one. Alright. So Kyle, what's the reason for taking out all these small trees? Uh we're clear cutting this area. Oh you are? Yeah. The only true way to actually experience those angles is to be in it. Just take a look at that backpack flopping back as they're going up that hill. Kyle there, he's been in the Sherpa a few times, so he's used to it, but it is one hell of an experience. Okay, hold on now, can you use your feet? This train can be a little bit of a challenge because it's very difficult to see when there's just massive leaves in front of you. You don't know what you're going to hit. So she's in low and you just take it easy. And if you happen to climb up a tree a little bit, she'll probably plop down again and off you go.
thought I'd pop in a little bit of footage that I ran across that I haven't shared. This was another adventure that I had at McMiller, a little bit different area than uh, we've been previously looking. That log right there is probably about two feet high. Chirp just walks over it, no issue whatsoever. You've already seen what it does through trees. <laughs> Nothing better than giggles and laughs from the passengers in back. Although I've never ridden in the back of the Sherp, that's the best advice that everybody said that I've ever provided is use your feet to try to hold yourself in back, push against it, because when you're holding up on the top, it doesn't keep you aligned like you should be. I had one of my buddies actually fly all the way across because they did not use their feet. Well, we're coming up to an end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not sure what my next adventure will be, will be it'll probably have something to do with deer hunting we will see if there's anything you'd like to do with me shoot me a note please lay some comments out there hope you have a great day take care everyone <laughs>